Hey you guys, Brittany here from Pennies and Pearls. Ever since I have done my office makeover, I have gotten so many questions all about these big beauties right here. You guys know that here on Pennies and Pearls, I wanna help you guys live your dream life on less, whether it has to do with finance, food, or fun. Today's video is all about the fun part. I'm gonna show you guys how to make these custom DIY framed black and white prints, each for under $7. Being able to get a Pinterest worthy spot in your home on a really small budget is one of my favorite things to do and I want to show you guys how to do it welcome back you guys don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you guys are interested in seeing more videos on how to do DIY on a really tight budget and if you guys like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends because if you like it chances are they will too okay so you guys if you follow me on Instagram you've probably already had a really great sneak peek at these prints and the entire office as a whole let me just show you guys what it looked like before this wall I didn't even know how bad it was making me feel this is the place where I need to come for inspiration and it adds a whole new light to our entire living room don't forget if I reference any videos or any products or anything like that I'll most definitely leave those linked in the description box below so don't forget to check that out all right let me show you guys how you can make these for yourself at home okay so the first thing I did is I kind of mapped out what I thought I wanted so you can see here that I just taped together some newspaper because I already had that on hand use what you have first and these are kind of the sizes that I um, found that I wanted for my space. So it turns out that they measure out to be about 22 inches by 37 inches. So I'm gonna go make my frames right now. Hey Pearls, editing Brittany here, and hubby's in the garage, so if it's noisy, sorry. Okay, it's late at night, but I totally forgot to tell you what wood you need. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need some one by twos, and then for the backing of the um, prints, I just used the cheapest, or I bought the cheapest plywood they had. I think for the big giant um, sheet, it was about um, $10. And then, okay, so keep watching the tutorial to figure out how much you're gonna need, um, because it all depends on what size you want. I'm gonna be making just a very typical square frame. I'm not gonna be cutting in at 45 degree angles. They're just gonna be simple 90 degree cuts. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut out the long boards of the frame. So I need six, 37 inch boards. Next, to figure out what size you want to cut for your width, you need to take into account how wide the wood is. So you can see that it's not a full inch, it's actually three quarters because you're gonna have one of these on each side, three quarters plus three quarters. So since I want the width of my total width of my frame to be 22 inches, I'm gonna take 22 inches minus an inch and a half, which is gonna give me 20.5 is what I wanna cut the next set. start assembling our frame and you what the way we're gonna be doing these frames is you want your shorter pieces to be on the insides of the longer pieces I'm gonna be using nails and a nail gun to attach but you could use nails and a hammer or screws and a drill two nails for each corner frames I'm gonna first do a pre-stained wood conditioner and then after that sits for just a few minutes I will go in and do um, the stain and I'm using espresso 273 it just helps so the stain goes on evenly of finishing wax. The next step is to cut 
cut out your print. Now because the image that I chose has a lot of white space, I'm going to need to trace it out. So I'm just going to use the back of my frame as a template. And because this wood is a little bit bowed, you want to make sure that you press down as you're tracing. attach your print to the board we're gonna use just the tiniest amount of Mod Podge and just do a thin layer right on the corners I'm not very good at laying paper over Mod Podge without getting a whole bunch of bubbles and things so I'm using this technique and it works out pretty well especially with having the frame um, mounted on top of it in just a minute There we have it. So it is mounted on. It's not going to come off. Once we get the frame attached, that print won't be going anywhere. If you do find that you have a little bit of overlay with the paper hanging off of the board, just trim that off with like a razor blade. With your back attached to your print, all that's left is to nail the back to the frame. I'm gonna be using a nail gun with 5 8 inch finishing nails. I'm gonna start in one corner, make my way over to the other corner, pressing gently on the back so that way it ends up flush. attach a hanger depending on how you're gonna hang your frame it might be different this is a three pack I got at Walmart for a dollar just going to measure out the center and nail it on I would love it if you tagged me on Instagram. Here's my handle right here. And then also don't forget to use the hashtag Pearl Squad because that's what we're using on Instagram to share with each other all our frugal living tips and ideas. Thanks you guys so much for watching. Again, don't forget to give the video a like and share it with your friends. And I will talk to you very soon. Bye.